Hi there. Someone sent me a question uh, regarding uh, tree view and multiple document interface. So what he wants to do, he wants to display uh, a tree view and uh, by changing the, his selection of the tree view he, he should be able to change the uh, child form displayed in the MDI so this video is about that so here we go first thing to do is uh, go here select add new item this is going to be windows form and here you can see that there is a, an MDI parent form click add there we go I go to project go to properties and change the start of form to MDI parent so that this form will start instead of the other now uh, for our child form I'm gonna use this one here and uh, for the title I'm gonna say text editor uh, whatever anyway um, I'm gonna place a text control here JK Lemino PQ wait uh this is a text box this is a text box and uh, make it a multi-line control and change it so that okay so now we have our editor and finally where's the anchor make the anchor like this enter so we have our anchor here um, the next thing to do let's go to our form so here when I see new this is gonna change so instead of this one it's gonna be form one okay and then child form dot text yeah so let's try this out this is the new you can see this window one window two three four and so on so we have all these windows no problem right so let's try creating a tree control a tree view control and see how to do it um, go to the MDI form and search for oh this is the splitter control draw that now we have a splitter control now splitter control will split the display here we are going to place the tree and this one will be for the window um, we are going to need next a tree view control um, place the tree view control here um, probably I will dock it yes oops sorry cut click here paste it oh how come and do delete wait I'm not sure uh, instead of that I'm gonna just place the control here wait so let me see the splitter is now being selected um, yeah this is a tree view control I'm gonna draw this one here and okay so this is our tree view control and now I will make the anchor here on all four possible sides so that whenever you change okay let me try this just to make sure it works fine okay um, no problem and wait a minute hmm maybe I should leave some space for the um, splitter itself anyway okay try this now yeah um, for some reason it doesn't work okay sorry about that okay um, I think I cannot change the size of the splitter that's strange just to make sure yeah it, it seems it doesn't change size anyway so we have this tree control okay now what we want to do is uh, edit nodes and here I'm gonna add the root node this is gonna be what um, documents and the name docs 
Okay, so what we want to do is that whenever we add a document, we want to add a node into the tree view. So go here, um, and finally, tree view one dot nodes of zero dot nodes dot add. What we want to add is uh, child form the text comma child form dot text. Okay, so what does this mean? It means go to the tree view control, go to the li uh, list of all the nodes uh, on, on the highest uh, on the first level and there is only one f one node right so we're gonna access that go to its child node and add um, and add uh, the, the new node containing the window title so let's run this here so we have this one click here there we go click another one so you can see the nodes are now being added what we need to do next is whenever we click a node it will get activated so go back to here sorry double click that okay now if uh, 3 view 1 dot nodes wait selected node dot name equal docs then exit sub the reason for that is that is uh, this this documents node it it has the name doc so I am using that to detect if it's being selected so no other node will be uh, uh, will appear on top otherwise for each uh, of rm n me dot form I think mm -hmm. wait a minute. And what? Let me see. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Me dot. Let me see. How can I get the list of forms? Get child forms. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm gonna make things easy f for me here. So dimension of rm list of rm list. How's a new list of uh, form one? Okay, so whenever I add a form, I'm gonna add to this list. All I have to do is rm list dot add um, child form. There we go. So here for each of rm and CF uh, of our um, list. Okay, FCF dot text equals three view one dot selected selected node dot text. Then CF dot activate exit sub. Okay, so it means. Uh, search all the available forms if you find the one you you want to uh, display just activate it so let's display that now okay so we have this list click 5 this is the fifth form click 8 this is the eighth one and click 2 this is the second one and click 1 this is the first 4 3 and as you can see we can switch between these forms it's very straightforward now let me check the code a little bit for other stuff I think um, there should be something related to closing exit on strip wait Open file close so um, just pay attention here is that uh -huh. pay attention here that when you close a form here you must also remove its node so let me see this is exit there is no close ah never mind 
you can uh, put some code related to that okay so this is how you can do um, a MIDI form uh, a MIDI application having many forms as you can see and it seems hmm, okay there's something here uh, don't make the anchor align itself to the right because this will create a problem okay on that okay now this one's working fine so we have all these windows you can click and switch between the windows as you can see the code is very simple again all you have to do is drag and drop a splitter drag and drop a tree view and make sure that it it sits above the splitter not above the, the window itself and uh, then uh, whenever you add a form you just uh, you just use one line of code to add to add uh, the node into the tree okay like this you might also want to have a list uh, a, li a list of all the forms you have created for later access so here you are adding the child form to the list okay and finally finally um, whenever you you click uh, a node you will have this this loop searching for the correct no uh, form when you find it just activate it and that's all this is how you do it hope you'll find this useful if you have further questions send them to notes at mk-self.com thank you and have a nice day bye bye